So now what I want to do is I actually want to see something on the server. I want to navigate and run some sample pages. Uh, this is where some people have some errors, and it's very important to understand this. So let's go back to my notes. What you want to do is you want to head and go to uh, in bring up Explorer or bring up um, Firefox and type in uh, localhost uh, colon 8080, and you should bring up all the sample pages. Now, when that happens, it's kind of like what you do with PHP and uh, Apache. You'll have a page that you can work with and look at different applications. Here, you're going to have a page you can look at, and you can actually run some uh, JSP and server examples, but sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes when you uh, run this page, you get an error and nothing comes up. So what, what might be happening here is that you may have another server running that's using that 8080 port, very popular. So what you have to do is reset that port using the config directory, I reset that to, in my case, I, I reset it to 9080. Some people set it to 9000 and just other numbers that you might use. Okay? So, and I had to go in and reset my config file. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and run it now. So if I go and try to run this localhost 8080, I bring up Internet Explorer. I put that in there. It didn't run. I got this weird page here. That's not what happens. And so my port's not set correctly. So I had to reset that port. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. So I set that port to, to, to 9080. I'm going to run that. Oops, Firefox could not connect to localhost 9080. That makes me very sad. It's pretty sad when yours works and I didn't. If you can't do teach, right? There we go. <laughs> this is the hard stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can run this again. Ha! Ah, so what had happened is I had accidentally closed my Tomcat window. All right, and so my server wasn't running anymore. So I, I had to restart the server again, right? And then when I did, it started running again, and I'm at 9080. Not 8080 because I changed the config file, and there's all my all all the stuff that you know, you typically see. And we're going to specifically take a quick look at the JSP and the server server example. But before we do that, let me show you how to change that port. Okay? So in order to change that port, so if you're not running on 8080, you need to run on another port because uh, it's been gobbled up by something else. And so uh, let's go ahead and change that port. And the way you do that is just go once go back to your Tomcat server. You know. Uh, localhost, Java, Tomcat, Bin, wherever you installed it, go back one, go back, go to the config folder right here, and in the config folder you're going to see a config directory, so a server.xml page, you see that? So in the server.xml page you actually want to change uh, that number from 8080 to 9080, and so there's a server XML page, I'm going to bring that up in Dreamweaver. Okay. And then in that particular page, I want to change uh, the number. And so uh, let's scroll down. And there it is right there. Here's my connector port. If my, and that will be set to 8080. I changed it to 9080 and saved it. And now I can connect to 9080. So that's how you change the port number. Just in that, uh, once again reviewing, just in that... Um, uh, server XML page. So I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. And so now, once I do that, my uh, if everything works well, my Tomcat server is running fine. And that's typically the mis mistake that a lot of people have when they're working the server. They just that that port's been gobbled up by something else. All right, now that that's installed, you can actually run these examples here. Let's run a JSP example, and uh, I'm gonna come down here and just run an example. And this is basic arithmetic. Okay, adds numbers for me. That's good that my server can add numbers. And if I go take a look at the source code, it's going to show me the nice short source codes and actually see how some JSP pages are created. This is going to be very important as we move on and actually start serving up JSP pages and consuming that XML. So what this a JSP page is, is basically HTML with Java inside it. Just like the PHP we worked with before, it was like HTML with PHP inside it. Uh, JSP is like basically yeah HTML with Java inside of it. Now what a servlet page is, let's take a look at one of those. And we're going to go back one and go to a server example and let's run one of those so we execute hello world haha <laughs> I love hello world okay let's go back first created by IBM was the first one to create the first hello world program so what uh, and it stayed with us from then on which is a good thing uh, basically what a JSP 
basically what a servlet page is, is basically just uh, Java with HTML inside of it. And so you can see how the server page, servlet page here is serving up HTML inside of it. Uh, both of these pages, JSP and servlet, when it is on the... Uh, when it's on the Tomcat server, basically both are converted into classes and served up by the, the Tomcat server. So they both end up the same, but from a developer standpoint, they actually you start from different standpoints. And so the way a lot of systems are right now, they're somewhat like PHP, very rigid. They're built with these JSP pages and these server pages. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the Flex RIA, which is a very fluid environment to create our uh, client interface. And we're going to talk back and forth between the uh, Spring Hibernate uh, interface using remoting to serve the data back and forth okay you got that and there you go that's your that's your you're a tomcat genius now and that's how you install it so let's just go over the steps real quick so it's actually very simple uh... even though it may take you a little bit of time so go ahead and download that jdk and install it and make sure you know where the path is where it went to then uh... uh... grab your tomcat server unzip it and put it somewhere and make sure you set your java home path then start it up using the startup command in the bin folder and navigate to it using the localhost 8080. Now if that doesn't work, change that uh, in the config file to 9080 or some other number that works using the server.xml page. Then run, run, then run a few of those JSP and server uh, pages just to make sure they're working. And next time what we're actually going to do, we're going to take a look at uh, writing a few JSP and server pages. We'll get right into it. We'll also go back and discuss uh, JavaFX as well.